As we've seen through the book of Hebrews, one of the themes, one of the central focuses of this book is Jesus. And not just who he is, but honestly, how great he is. That he's better, that he's greater, that he really is the supreme and the central one. So in Hebrews chapter 8 for our devotional today, let me read to you what the author writes about Jesus. He says in verse 6, But now Jesus, our high priest, has been given a ministry that is far superior to the old priesthood. He is the one who mediates for us a far better covenant with God, based on better promises. If the first covenant had been faultless, there would have been no need for a second covenant to replace it. But when God found fault with the people, he said, and he goes on to quote from Jeremiah and then closes this chapter in verse 13 with this idea. When God speaks of a new covenant, it means he has made the first one obsolete. It is now out of date and will soon disappear. See, here's the beautiful truth of Hebrews chapter eight. Jesus is that superior high priest for us as the people of God. He is the one that mediates between us and God. Jesus is our savior. Jesus is our king. And Jesus is our high priest. He is the one who represents us to God and represents God to us. Jesus is better. Jesus is superior. Jesus is central. So for today, the thought is very simple, but simply profound. Today, no matter what's going on in your life, no matter what choices you have to make, where you're traveling, or what's on your to-do list, spend some time in this chapter just connecting with that one who's better, who's supreme, who truly is that great high priest who's made a way for you and I to connect with God and be connected to God. Because you see, Jesus, as we've seen through the book of Hebrews, he is the central one, he is the supreme one, he is that better one who saves us and who restores us as our great high priest.